Would you like to earn a decent amount of money with only using cargo hauling missions? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. By chaining them together, I'll show you exactly the locations to look out for and what missions to take. So to start off, our home base location is going to be Everest Harbor. We're going to get all our cargo here and then we are going to distribute it between a couple of locations mostly distribution centers because we can also land in hangars there and be pretty safe from anybody trolling us or taking our cargo. So we're going to start off here. I'm, I am going to put a little list on screen where I list off all the distribution centers. You can screenshot it or whatever. Just know that I'm going to use this list to look for missions and where we're heading to. Now let's get started with the contracts so that we can quickly sort through them. For the contracts, you want to take a look at contracts that is worth 13,000. The first location that I'm going to sort through is Tisa Spaceport. Since this is an important location, we want to load up the cargo first from it. But all our missions is going to be worth 13k. They're also going to be rookie rank since it only allows us to grab one type of resource, right? We don't have to mix and match them. So it goes a lot faster to load. And it doesn't complicate things very much. You can see it's also all distribution centers. So let me quickly see how much TISA spaceport missions we can gather. So here is our first TISA spaceport mission, 11 SEU. So I'm going to accept this. I'm going to see if there's more maybe. Here is another one for 10k, but it's 14 SEUs. You can get the one for 10k, but I tend to stick to the ones that's 13,000. Just because the SEUs are so big, I don't really enjoy these as much since i only have limited space right i like to maximize my profit so i won't be taking this one at least it seems like these are spaceport is all done we only have one for that mission at the moment before i forget i can't really take more missions i first need to load up our cargo bay so i'm just going to stand here take the boxes and load it into our cargo bay first and then I'll take more missions. So here's the 11 boxes. Let me quickly send it up. Definitely try and get yourself a mech like this. It will help quite a bit with loading everything. You can buy it at Lorville. Just at Hurston, right? Hurston Planet and then go down to Lorville. And then eventually you can head to New Deal. And then just buy one of these. Very decent. All that you need to do with these is look to your right by holding Z. And you can just click. And it makes it so much easier to load. It saves quite a bit of time. Since you can just basically throw whatever you want into place. And they always land for the most part. And there everything is loaded. This is for Tisa Spaceport. I'm going to leave that one open just to remind me. That I shouldn't take it. Now we can look for more missions. Seems like a lot more missions just popped up for Tisa Spaceport. So we can also accept them. We haven't loaded anything else yet. So I can definitely go with them as well. Since the more we have at one location. The more time we save right. So we just quickly want to go through them. Here's another one. 9 ACUs. Super decent. So in total we've got 4 for the same location which is super decent i'm just quickly going to bring up the cargo again and then we can load everything for tisa spaceport this is the first time i've been able to get four which is super nice for me but i'll just pull in the cargo of each one you can see that i do basically separate them the missions as well which is super nice but i'll quickly load these and then we'll probably add some other distribution centers as well so that I can show you the example. You can see it's quite a big load. Not gonna lie. But let me quickly load everything. Here's the last box of this big one. I'm gonna look for other distribution centers as well. Here we go. Farness Way is, an, is another one. That I'm gonna quickly pick up everything for. Seems like we only get one of that distribution center. I'll quickly send the cargo up again. You can see this one only has six boxes. For now. So let's quickly load it. Don't know if I mentioned it, but usually I leave like a little box open here just so that I can know which is which, right? For example, I know this one is Tisa Spaceport just because there's a box open here. So I'll probably quickly load everything here again.
Case all loaded. Be a little bit light in this row. But I'll see if there's another one. Here's another one that just popped up. Sometimes a new one will pop up while loading. So you can just take that one. We quickly accept it. This is eight more boxes, which is super nice for us. I'll also load these up and then we'll see if something pops up again. You can probably take one more mission here just for this row, but not a very big one. Let me quickly see. So here is a Casilla one. I'll just take the Casilla one as well. Since we can only fit one more in here, we only got so much space, right? So in total, I think we've got six or seven missions. Maybe a bit more. I'll quickly count after I load everything. Okay, there's all our boxes. And there is the last one. Now we can go deliver. As you can see, we managed to fit seven missions into the Corsair. This can be different for each ship, right? Just depending on how much cargo space you have. But let's quickly go see how much money we can make. At the end, I'm also going to take a mission. Where I come back to Everest Harbor so that I can restart the process or the loop. So let's quickly go to the first distribution center here at Casillo. Yes, Casillo, it's a little bit dark at the moment, but we're going to land in the hangar. We're not going to be outside on a pad. I like being in a hangar, it's a little bit faster since you can park closer towards the cargo area, right? So I'm just quickly going to call here. There you can see it's opening for us. Now we can just land with our back towards the cargo area. All landed here. Engines off. Let's quickly deload. Casilla won't take long at all. You can see just a little bit of boxes. Only one mission. But the rest is I think all two missions. So it will go pretty decently. And then these are spaceports definitely. I think we have got three or four missions there. We can take a look. There we go. All loaded. Not many boxes. Now we can just send it down and then make our way to our next distribution center, which is Farnest Way. Lucky for us, it's daytime here at Farnest Way. So we can just land here. Looks like, unfortunately, the hangar doors are bugged here at Farnest Way. So we can't land in the hangar. We will need to do it the other way, which is landing at the pads, which is way worse. I do not enjoy doing this. But sometimes it's needed, right? Bug workaround. So I'll just land here on a pad. Usually they're on the sides here. Can't really miss them. Just land nice and close. And then you should be able to deload your cargo quickly. Luckily we don't have a big mission for this area. Okay, we're all angled up. Let me go open the cargo elevator. Managed to open it. Now I'm going to deload quickly. And there's our last box. I'm quickly going to go send it down. Let's see if everything is there at least. Seems like everything is here. Nice. Two missions completed. Now all that we need to do is go to Tisa Spaceport and deliver the rest. Hopefully these don't bug out since there's quite a bit. It's I think it's two, three rows of boxes that we need to go deliver. We're almost done. If you're wondering where is Tisa Spaceport, since you can't find it on the map, it's actually Lorville. It's just a spaceport name at Lorville. So here's Lorville. You can just go to the spaceport there. It's just a spaceport name. We can jump there. We're finally at Lorville. As you can see, there's a big structure just here. And the spaceport is usually just in front of it. So in the beginning, when I was new, I couldn't find the spaceport here at all. Just now it's just in front of this big thing. I managed to land. Let's quickly deload again. Okay, here is all our cargo. Let's quickly send it down. Here you can see all four missions here. Confirm. And we've completed it. That, that made it 7 missions in total. I think that's like 91,000. But we can take another mission here, which is a returning mission. You can see here, here is the returning mission. If you take it, you'll make about 105k, which is pretty decent. But hope this video was helpful. If it was, please leave a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, then you can watch this video right here, where I show you how to make money with unverified missions. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.